Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I am Simply Your Makeup. No, I don't like that. Hey everyone, welcome back. Simply Makeup here. If you're new, welcome. And to my returning subscribers, and to my returning subscribers, I want to say thank you for coming back. In today's look, this is a look I just did describing the different sections of the eyes. But I'm going to take this look and I'm going to create something wild and crazy and fun because I feel I need to do that before I wash this makeup off. And I'm not going anywhere today, so I am going to just bump it up. So watch, let us have some makeup fun. Take your palettes out and come on down and let us have some makeup fun. I'm going to use the two e.l.f. mini palettes. This one and this one. Let's see what we can create. Let us create something beautiful. Let us create something wild, something we'd never do. Let us do that. And I am going to go into the darkest of the darkest color in here and I'm going to go over here and I want to change this look. I truly want to change this look. I want this look to be big, bad and bold. As you can see under my eye has no makeup because the look I was doing was just the different parts of the eye. So I didn't do makeup under my eyes. So that is why it's like that. We are doing, we are having some makeup fun now. This is fun, I love doing this. If you like these videos, give them a thumbs up and share them with somebody else so that they can see that there is fun in makeup. There are no rules over here. You do your own thing, have your own fun. It's your palette, your life. So now I have bumped up this color and you can see the transformation happening right in front of your eyes. It's always fun. It's always fun. I love it. Yep, I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. Okay, we had that green right here. I'm going right here with that green. We changing this thing right here. We changing the look. Let us change it. Oh, the garbage truck is passing now. Today they're early, believe it or not. They've been coming at five, six o'clock. So today they're early. I have two different eye shape. They're uneven, so gotta fix it and make it look the best way possible. And they're hooded on top of that. So if you have those eyes, create something beautiful. Don't be afraid, don't be afraid. Have fun with it. Because that's what we're here for. In Dominica, the island of Dominica, the Commonwealth of Dominica, the nature island of Dominica, they call it, it has many names. And we have rainy season. Well, it rains a lot in Dominica. But there's this time of the year where it just rains and rains and rain and rain and rain. And if you try to go to the river, that's a big mistake. Because all the water that falls in the mountain is coming down that river because it has to find its way to the ocean. And we have the Atlantic Ocean, which is very, very rough. Some days it is so rough, the water comes all the way like to the street that we walk. Fixing the brow bone. So you have to kind of watch out for the waves. And I remember as a kid, my mom used to wash for this lady. And well, the lady had a couple people that used to wash for her, my mom and another lady. And I remember one day, they went to, my mom didn't go that day, 
the other lady, it was the other lady's turn and she went to wash by the river. It was nice and sunny and it was beautiful weather. Nothing to worry about because we plan our wash days, you know, and sometimes it doesn't always go the way we plan, but we plan them. And that day, in the middle of the day, it started pouring. You know, a little rain. Dominica always have rain, so we didn't take it for anything. And it rained, and it rained, and it rained, and it rained. To the point where it wasn't stopping. The people at the riverside got stuck. Because now the river, the river you walk through to cross now is this humongous, outrageous, crazy monster. And it's coming to get you and you have to get to higher ground. And there were three rivers, one called Spring, one called Paboju, and one called Guainvier. Guainvier is the little first one and then Paboju is the little one and it was full of water lilies. There were water lilies everywhere. Beautiful when they bloom. And when the water lily bloomed, it was gorgeous. And then Guainvier is the... Spring was the little one, Guainvier was the big one. Dig the bottom and make like, we call it a basin, but really it's like a big pool of water. When you jump in, sometimes it's cover you, you cannot swim, so you hurry up to get to the edge and stuff like that. And then at the mouth of the river, the ocean used to come all the way in. So that was fun, but scary. <laughs> so I didn't do that much. I did not do that much. That's the garbage truck in the background. If you hear that noise, it is the garbage truck. I didn't stay at the edge of the ocean too often because sometimes the waves were so big, it would wash you back out with it in the ocean. So that part I did not do. I am a scaredy cat when it comes to that. And that day it rained and rained and rained and rained and rained and people got stranded. We had a group of guys in the village and they all left and tackled that water, that raging river. They tackled the raging river to help those people carry their clothes right out and rescue them. You have no idea how scary that is as a kid when you hear that. It is very scary. And they, the people survived, thank God. You know, these guys went and rescued them because these people were hoping on a prayer standing up some people climb the palm trees waiting some people stand on you know on branches waiting it was crazy i'm telling you everybody was by the roadside talking you know waiting to hear what happened because you don't have phone everything is word of mouth there is no phone <laughs> back then so you waiting word of mouth did they get rescued who rescued them and i tell you these guys did a fabulous job you know, they, they really went out there and helped the people. So that was the story of that day. Because we know when it rains in Dominica, you know, you stay away from the water. But sometimes you plan and I'm going to make my liner thicker. Sometimes you plan your day and, you know, you go and it just happens. Sometimes it's not raining where you are, but it's raining up in the mountains where you can't see, which is far away from you. And all of a sudden you start seeing dirty water, like brown, muddy water walking towards you. <laughs> not walking, but rolling towards you. You know to start packing up your clothes, whether you finish wash or not. You pull up all the clothes, whether they're drying on the rocks or not, you pack up and you get the hell out because you know what's coming. You know a raging monstrous river of water is coming. So you hurry up and you pack up and you take off. And that's just what it is. You cannot plan them. You don't know what's going to happen out there. And that's what happens in Dominica. This is the look.
I bump it up using the two elf quads and it looks like this. Today's motivational word, encouraging word is by William James. This is the last one from Attitude Can Shape Your Life. It says, the greatest revolution of our generation is the discovery that human beings, by changing the inner attitude of their mind, can change the outer aspects of their lives. Always remember, self is first. Love self plenty, take care of self. And I simply make up a saying, go out there, live life, live in the best way possible, stay healthy, stay hydrated in this hot sun, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.